Bill Spencer talks Xbox Series X power gap, X Cloud, and so much more. Let's get into it. What is going on guys? Dealer back again with yet another video. Xbox's Phil Spencer has dropped another memo to the people. He has spoken. And guess what? More good pro-consumer information, more things that we had already predicted on RDX coming to light and so much more, including Xbox Series X and his stance on what you can expect over its competitor this entire generation. And I expect it to get even worse as time goes on. But hey, if you end up liking the video, hit the like button, show up buddy this video and subscribe let's get into it xbox wire you are the future of gaming this is actually brought to you by phil spencer himself he wrote this with a quill and some ink in his office he said games are a source of joy inspiration and of course social connection as a matter of fact this whole first part is uh, like a speech out of the patriot but for gaming it's great stuff it's stuff that you want to hear as a consumer one of the first key bullet points in fact is you will always be welcome this bullet point saying hey we're gonna do our best to control a lot of toxicity a lot of trolls make it the best place to play online etc know that this will scale across every xbox x cloud windows 10 and more he also comments on game developers that they are enabling developers from all backgrounds from all around the world bringing you their stories through the power of games Ooh, but the second bullet point is uh even better he says your games will look and play best on xbox series x this is something that we've been uh, saying for a billion years but of course um it's always good to hear a statement from the head of xbox about this phil is going to start getting into this more and more as time goes on so are the hardware engineers so are other big content creators right you're gonna think you've heard it all before because you have but now it's starting to be confirmed so phil says xbox series x is designed to actually deliver a new level of fidelity feel performance and precision this has never been seen in console gaming before you can say that again all games will look and play best on xbox Xbox Series X. Now, I just want to make this clear because he, he he doesn't say it here because he really shouldn't have to say it. He's talking about anytime developers really have the resources or the time, they apply themselves. There is no other outcome but for this system to have uh yeah the best the best version. He says whether they come from their over 15 Xbox game studios like Halo Infinite or from their world class publishers, you know their developer partners, packing over 12 T flops of GPU power, including new technologies like hardware ray tracing. Racing, VRS, and over four times the processing of Xbox One X. Xbox Series X enables developers to provide you with transformative gaming experiences, living worlds, more realistic AI, animations, and of course, this is a big one, Phil. Thank you, support for higher FPS, even up to 120 frames per second. By the way, that'll be a lot more common than a lot of you think. He then goes into the load times, the 40X boost in their IO speed throughput with their SSD and their virtual RAM combination, etc. Keep in mind, there are memory multipliers there that many people do not consider. You know, those that only talk about the SSD of uh, some other platforms, right? The SSD does not do and never will do the processing of a CPU GPU combination. Also remember that the Series X is the only platform right now with a confirmed feature like quick resume. This is their ability to suspend multiple, multiple games in the SSD of the system. And through the power of the velocity architecture, you can jump from game to game without any loading whatsoever with the exception of a five second flash screen bill doubles down on xbox game pass and lets you know that even though it's a new generation you are still getting game pass games day and date that is an intricate part of how game pass works and its mass appeal we estimate anywhere from 13 to 15 million people subscribe to the service right now as microsoft have already confirmed over 10 million a while back he also talks about every game in the next couple years being released across all xbox models remember graphics on it held back by older hardware it's game design that's held back by older hardware so you can expect phenomenal looking games like halo infinite to run on your 2013 xbox one while somebody on the 2020 xbox series x is getting a next level experience with ray tracing etc he quickly goes over backwards compatibility just to let you know that hey everything you own today everything you have access to today on your xbox one will just work sign in move your hard drives over your games are there and guess what they will all load faster because the hard drives you already own today 
are now plugged into faster USB ports. They are being powered by a faster system and uh, even your external hard drives will load games faster. That's not coming from him, that's coming from me. This is a big one, Smart Delivery talking about how you can buy games once, you don't need to do it again. Guys, I really uh, need a lot more people to harp on this from third party publishers because some of them are proving to be quite greedy. They are going to try to charge you for what is essentially the PC version of the game they already have. And uh, unlike last time, unlike other generations, you are going from x86 to x86. There just isn't the workload there. Everything's on the same machine language. You have no choice but to scale your title. And really what a lot of developers uh, are basically going to do is turn on PC settings that already exist in the engine, in the software, on PC today. And they're going to bring you that PC type experience on more games. And as time goes on, you'll get a more next generation experience through newer technologies that are not possible today. To me, something like ray tracing at a high frame rate with uh, ultra high fidelity is a next generation experience. To others, it is something like the medium where you can only do things on this game because of something like an SSD. The term next generation has been blurred more than ever, and that's because fidelity has risen so high. It's one of those things where you've got to decide what makes it next generation for you. But ultimately on Series X and PS5, especially at launch, you were looking at high-end PC versions of games running on these platforms. And obviously Series X has a lot more hardware to leverage more high-end features. Ray tracing, for instance, is going to be a massive delta between the two. Also consider what he's saying about Game Pass and the fact that, hey, you can kind of subsidize your own console purchase through Game Pass. So if you're thinking about buying Halo Infinite, but hey, you're a Game Pass member. Well, that's technically like, you know, 60 bucks off the cost of your console. You can really start to think about how to justify that purchase a little more through the savings that you might think you get through something like Game Pass. And as predicted on RDX long ago, Game Pass Ultimate will incorporate xCloud into the service. So if you are an Ultimate member, you've got Xbox Live paid for, you've got Game Pass paid for, you then get xCloud included at no extra cost. So just to be clear, September 2020, you will be able to have xCloud if you are a Game Pass Ultimate member for no extra fee. Expect every game in Game Pass to be streamable. That's in addition to your own console streaming, etc. This means that day one, Halo Infinite, you'll be able to walk around and stream this game anywhere if you want. And expect that with all of their new titles, of course. And again, Phil doubles down on, hey, we're trying to free up play for everybody. We are expanding the market while giving you more options than ever, more software than ever, the best hardware anyone's ever done. And we are giving you by far the most flexibility ever. You are not locked down to one place, but you do have the option to play anywhere you want. Does that make any of your software worse? Not if you prefer to play it on your cell phone. Not if you need to stream it. Not if you don't have an extra TV and happen to have a free PC while the kids are watching Baby Club. Shout out to Darge Knight. These are options and options are good. And really Phil is doing a great job. He's really starting to really emphasize more and more pro-consumer things and bring that total picture together that they started building back in 2015, at least publicly. Again, nobody is prepared, not on the global scale, to do what these guys are about to do. And I'd like to know your thoughts about all of it. Xbox Series X, he's doubling down saying, hey, you're gonna have the best version of the games. So there's no doubt. There's a big delta there. I've talked about it. A lot of guys don't even know there's a 25 to 30 FPS delta on the X and the Pro today. The difference between resolution gaps and pixels and frames comes out to about 25, 30 FPS on games like Red Dead 2, Metro, well-optimized titles. For some reason, they think there's a four to seven frame per second difference on the PS5 and Series X. It, uh, sorry, guys, but uh, once again, you'll have to see. It's not even factoring in the ridiculous ray tracing advantage, etc. Look, bottom line, good times are coming. The July event's coming. Expect nothing but games there. There may not even be studio acquisitions announced there. They have another event, something planned in August. Let me know what you think down below about this article. Let Bill know what you think about this article. I'll link it down below. Check the links for Patreon, channel members, hit that join button, etc. Thank you so much for what you do. Subscribe for the latest and greatest. Figured I would bring you this quick video. And again, thank you all for doing what you do. I'm Dealer. I'm out.